Juliet, the special agent in charge of the New York field office told CNN, basically, you've got to think of this as one of many networks across the country. You shouldn't be thinking about this in isolation. This is just sort of one thing happening in a vacuum. What are the implications of that? The idea that this is just New York is just ridiculous. Look, I mean, we have critical infrastructure throughout the country. We have bad agents, both foreign and domestic, who would seek to disrupt them. A lot of times we're looking for meaning, like geopolitics, but sometimes it is not that that meaningful. It is people who can get into these systems and they, uh, they seek ransom, they seek money, or they just seek disruption for disruption's sake. Uh, and so it is going to require lots of intelligence sharing. It's good that the Secret Service is sort of leading this effort because it's got uh, a footprint throughout the United States, but it's ob obviously uh, global. You've got foreign countries that are trying to, to do it, uh, as well as foreign agents, maybe supported or not supported by their governments, uh, who are seeking, uh, seeking to do it. Uh, and it's going to, I'll say one thing, it's, uh, it's going to require the private sector to get super serious, uh, both about protecting themselves, but also about disclosures. Uh, 70 to 80 percent of our critical infrastructure is owned by the private sector. When these things happen to them, they tend to not tell law enforcement. They'll deal with it on their own. Um, it means we don't have good transparency as a government on what's going on. 